Oh, those people got, like, boiled in that pot or something. They used to do that, didn't they? Boil people alive. Oh, sure. Ugh. Explode. Oh, oh I, I assume not, but they didn't give any sign that they were going to blow up. Also, there's gold you can collect. Yeah, probably so you can replace your shabby shit. Level up. Who has Looking that kind of self-esteem? They look at the stuff that they carry into battle and they're like, this is pretty shabby. Well, you know. Also, I know that's like odd comment. My the only stats are health, strength, and luck. It's an interesting combination. Okay, unspent perk points. Sword attack. I can get better sword combo, critical hit chance, stun chance, chance to knock an enemy back, trading discount, heavy attack, better whirlwind, whirlwind attract, attract upgrade. Share blood. Suck blood. Dodge. Hmm. Dodge attack. Throws his enemies into the air. That's what dodging for fun. How does it feel to play? It's alright. Also, check out- what are these statues? Is this- There's xenomorphs in here? Look at that. Dang. Alright, let's see if she- is she leveled up- is she leveled up as well, or...? Okay, yeah, she has an unspent point as well. Oh, you can improve her movement speed, fire rate, trading discount, fire bolt. Grenade, repel. That's a, oh, that makes sense. The melee guy has an attract power and she has a repel power. Hmm. Blood shield. Probably fits Blood. with the game style. Alyssa can manipulate certain objects and push back enemies by holding L2 and pressing. Okay, let's try that repel power. I said, let's try that repel power. <laughs> Is it gonna let me pick this? Guess not. Alright, fire rate. Screw you. Aziel's Biting Blade. Aziel's Winged Crossbow. Let's open the inventory. Aziel's. So I guess this does have some, like, RPG elements, although the three minimum of stats is kind of weird. That's so good. Alright. From 15 to 19, and plus 10 health, All right? And meanwhile... The Shabby. They call it Shabby. That's like, that's the, that's, that's the brand name. <laughs> the Shabby product line. <laughs> and... Aziel's Biting Blade. This only increases damage from 17 to 18. But it gives it 5% critical chance. Alright, although I still have a shabby sword in one hand, because he uses two swords. And... Oh, there's a, there's a chest, there's a chest on that one. Oh. Oh! 
speech began with me surviving a crazy long fall. <laughs> the fuck? Did I, did I did I hallucinate the cinematic sequence? Oh, cool! I can force push people. That's like a magic thing. It only works if people kick you off. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if I have to be that close to force push people, it's not very useful. I mean, like, I have to get much closer than I need to be for just to just shoot them. Maybe it levels up in radius. Maybe, yeah, it could be. Oh, here's one of these impa poor impaled guys. Uh-oh. Gracias. Uh, they're viewing at you. <laughs> very, very slowly. <laughs> that really is like NES bullet <laughs> velocity. There we go. <laughs> I, I can't take that. I just can't take the threat they pose seriously. Also, they're, they can't even see me where they are. They're shooting at me. <laughs> And those arrows are still sticking like halfway into that door. <laughs> poor arm plate of fear. Well, it's better than. I, I guess poor is a step up from shoddy in this game's ranking system. Huh. <laughs> poor arm plate of fear. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Info. Defense. Stun chance. It gives a stun chance. And it boosts. Wait till you upgrade to the proletariat arm plate. <laughs> Too bad you can't control the camera. You can't? No. Jeez. I, it's not like these are like the sort of like sumptuously detailed environments that all have to be pre rendered, you know? Right. But not even a little. Well, it'll it, no, it does that on its own. It's like PS One. <laughs> Here come those. <laughs> Here come those Nerf arrows. Bla <laughs> Assault assailing me at upwards of three miles an hour. You in the Matrix? <laughs> that would be quite. Well, this would be a much better Matrix movie than Revolutions in that case. I, I hate Matrix Revolutions so much. Everybody does, John. Like it's okay. Second one. Second one, the second one was pretty weak, but the third was just... Alright, let's... Oh. I only kind of like the first one, anyway. Alright, let's suck that guy dry. And... Whoa! Checkpoint. Okay. Oh, that's... Whoop! I think that killed me. I hate having to jump or maneuver around pits when the camera moves on its own volition. Oh, 
Oh, I got one of those. I got a blood cone. Oops. The vampire that's bonded to the captain. Captain? He's a bloodsucker now, too. Castello that's a derogatory us. term. Kill him. No sense of loyalty. I think I was actually hitting him at like long range and his AI wasn't telling him to ad advance or something. They require more plasma. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> poor arm plate of fear. Oh, poor arm plate of fear. He, he didn't deserve that. Nick, I don't know if you ever watched the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. I remember it. But, uh, like, Dr. Morbius... The they couldn't vampire. say blood on a cartoon. In yeah, they couldn't say blood, and he couldn't use his fangs, so he used his hands to suck plasma. <laughs> it's like, uh, 90s x okay, something. Wolverine something has destroyed the balance. Thanks for ruining Earth, <laughs> Thanks for ruining the Earth, vampire. <laughs> Thanks, Undead Bomber! Let's find the priest. He needs to undo this bond between us. It just... He makes it sound so... What's your name, by the way? Eliza. Strange name. I'll call you Liz. Don't you dare. That, that crumbling moon is like the visually most impressive thing in the entire game. <laughs> oh, that's it. I watched, uh, I never watched Doctor Who, but I watched an episode with my roommates, and it was like the moon was an egg, and like a giant alien was hiding inside of it. So that's what it reminded me of. It's like the moon cracked and the thing escaped. I have not seen that one. It was strange. My knowledge of Doctor Who is basically limited to the, uh, Tom Baker episode where they fight Sutek uh, on Mars. That, that was... Oh, but... All right, overall overall uh, impression, eh, not that impressed. Pretty generic gameplay. Might be kind of might be some camp value in some of the dialogue. Thanks for ruining the world, vampire. <laughs> game of the okay. That's a good review of a game. Might be some camp value. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say, you know, I'm gonna pass on Blood Knights. You guys' thoughts, opinions, additional recriminations to, for Undead Bama? Generic. Um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I, I, I feel bad having no, nothing but bad things to say, but it's... It looked functional. It, yeah, it's functional. It's... And, I, like, I, I could see... Like, I was kind of thinking it might be, like, um, the Tomb Raider two-player game. Yeah, right. But this is nothing like that. It it might it to be fair, it might be a lot more fun with two players. I don't know. Yes. I mean it seems clearly like it seems to have been made with two players in mind. So I don't know. Well, you know I don't know, download the demo, give it a try yourself. Maybe you'll like it better than I do. Thanks for ruining the world, vampire. <laughs> <laughs>